Oh, hello. Hey, this is David with Mudslinger Pottery, and I'm out here in the studio today, and I'm working on what I call my little pate cup, dip cup, cheese cup, butter, kind of whatever you want. So it's a really simple cup. I simply add a small handle on the side, and then I have a, a small dipper that you can put on the side there and add that to the pot. Let's people know what it is. So I make these. I make, uh, it's a little mixing bowl. My mother used to keep one by the stove. She would mix up an egg and uh, make scrambled eggs with these or uh, mix up a, a sauce, uh, salad dressing. She would do it for um, salmon. She would take honey, lemon, and butter, mix it up in here, throw it in the microwave, mix it up, and uh, pour it over the salmon. So today I'm just going to show you uh, how I add the handle and talk about why I even make some of these small things and uh, just uh, show you what I'm doing. So I'm going to change the camera here. Okay, there we go. So I have a, a wood board that I've sanded down. It's very smooth. And I have, have a coil. So I'm just going to stretch this coil out, roll it out a little bit. And I've added some water here to the board in part because this clay is uh, rather stiff. This is my reclaim clay and I use this for my handle making. It's nicer to use something that's a little bit harder, a little bit drier. So adding the water to the board just helps uh, keep it hydrated and it gets, lets it roll a little bit better and I get a better coil because of it. Okay. So now I don't like the ends here. I'm going to cut this off. And here's how I make that uh, little design on that, on that handle. A little big right here. Roll that out a little bit more. So if you can see that, it's just a uh, serrated edge. I roll this along the coil. And it gives that design, which is nice because the, the glaze will pull up <coughs> Excuse me, pull up in there and just give a little different look. It just looks a whole lot better than the the little handles I was doing before that did not have this effect on it. Okay, so now I've got enough to do a few of them. So I just need a small piece, a couple inches long. I've got my pot here. Let me lift this up a little bit, make it a little easier to see. Okay, so it's, as you can see, it's really just a plain, simple pot. I've got my logo on the bottom. Pretty easy little pot to make. So I can uh, crank out quite a few of these. Pinch the ends a little bit, and then I try to make this kind of like a square so that when I put the, the dip knife down in there, it works a little bit better. A little water and score the, the ends of the handle. And then I'm just gonna put it on the side here where I want it, make sure it's Got a big enough slot right there so the little knife will fit in there. And you have to take into account uh, when you glaze it and the shrinkage. So if you make it so that that knife just fits in there as you're making it, you know, in the leather hard stage, there's a good chance 
that it's not going to fit after it's been fired and I'm just smoothing out that edge and then pull this out just a little bit to allow enough room and I make sure I don't want it too big but I do want to allow for that that glaze that will fill in there and the shrinkage so there's one real simple it's not an expensive pot and I have a lot of friends ask me well, why do you bother with some little pot like that I mean you're not gonna make a whole lot of money on it and I tell them yeah you're you're right that's true but if I can get somebody to buy one of these I've got a whole lot better chance that that the next time I'm at that sale they'll stop in to see me and see what else I've got I, I like to call them these uh, these are the the gateway drugs the gateway pots um, that gets you the chance to have a conversation with these people um, maybe make some kind of connection with that person and after you sold one thing to somebody you have a much better chance of selling a second thing plus you can you can use it and get their information have them sign up an email list um, get them to follow you on Instagram or Facebook or like this on my YouTube channel I just put it right in there and it just gives you that opportunity for that connection you know you're not you're not gonna sell the the two hundred dollar pot every time so if I can sell the twenty five dollar pot twenty eight I think I sell these for twenty eight if I can sell the twenty eight dollar pot I'm gonna get myself an in I'm gonna have a a chance to like I said interact with this person and possibly get some of their information or get them to follow me so that any show that I've got coming up they'll hear about it and they'll know about it so there it is my little knife the nice other nice thing about this is a lot of people will pick up something like if they were to pick this up they would be like well what is it what do I use it for and you have to tell people what they're for so if I've got the little knife on there somebody walks up and says, oh it's it's a cheese cheese cup a butter cup you know it lets them know what it is instantly so there it is hope you got something out of that this has been David with Mudslinger Pottery think about some of the smalls make some small things put them out there in your booth um, and get that interaction with people to uh, maybe bump up the sales to a larger thing and if you're not a potter if you're just someone who's enjoys pottery get out and uh, help some of these people that are working hard at making some of these beautiful mugs and bowls and pots buy something from them so they can go buy some more clay and make some more pots so this has been David with Mudslinger Pottery if you got something out of this please hit that subscribe button please hit the like um, the more subscribers the more likes I get on my videos just motivates me to get out of the studio and get to work and you know share some of the tips that I've learned over 30 years of working with clay so you all have a wonderful day and take care